Hello, today we are going to extract 3D models, textures and sounds, including music and sound effects, from an Unreal Engine game. For example, Fortnite is an Unreal Engine game, or Unreal Tournament 2000, whatever the current version is. Borderlands 3 is an Unreal Engine game, and there are so many more. Today I'm going to extract stuff from a game for which I do have permission. This is a Global Game Jam entry. All Global Game Jam entries are licensed under attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 3.0 Creative Commons licenses, which, for example, prohibits DRM. This means I can extract as much as I want from a Creative Commons, etc. licensed game. So we're gonna just download this game. Also, this game is available on GitHub. That's also an indicator that it's quite legal to extract stuff from this game. The tool we need to extract stuff is UE Viewer or UModel. I know it as UModel. Let's download it. Windows uh, 32 version. Yeah, the zip file is actually still called UModel. Unreal Engine Model Viewer. Let's save it and let's go to the folder of these files. Here we're just gonna extract both of these. Extract all and ext whoops, extract all again. Okay, so here's the game and here's UModel. Let's start UModel. Let's allow Windows to run it anyway. And now there's this f uh, window with a black background, that's just the command line. Let's keep that here so we can see progress in the application. It shows you its path, its location, and it shows you a bunch of stuff you can extract, select, extract, export. So we're nearly good to go, we just need to find the game files. Windows No Editor is the folder of this game. It's because they just didn't rename the project, I guess. In a typical Unreal Engine game project folder, you usually look for the exe file. And to see the exe ending, you have to enable file name extensions or else they are hidden away. If you can't enable that for some reason, then just look for the U logo or whatever you can double click to start the game. And then based on the name of this file, you look for a folder of that name, Game Jam 1. Not Engine, although you can take a look at engine and try to find PAK files as well. But what we're looking for here is folder with the name as the exe, game gem one, and then we look for content. And then we look for PAKs. And usually there's just one PAK file. We can also go back to the root folder of this project and just control F dot PAK. There's only one PAK file in this entire folder structure. So let's go to content packs and here's the file. Let's copy this path, let's just copy it, and let's right-click, paste it in here. And usually you would go for PC, but I think it always recognizes it as PC. Never had to change it before. We are in Unreal Engine 4, so this doesn't matter. Just keep auto. Now, we wanted sounds as well as textures and 3D models. I'm just going to keep animations in case you want these as well, and light maps in case you want these as well. We are going to skip face effects and scale form because I don't really care about these. You can go for override game detection. I never ever, I mean, it's Unreal Engine 4. You can give a version here, but it never really mattered. Also, if it can't detect, it will ask. And I'm gonna show you how. Press OK. And here we have multiple folders, but all packages is the root. The easiest thing to do if your computer is fast enough or you have enough time or both, you just click all packages, right click it and export folder content. But if you are looking for something specific, you can just go for car and then we have BP. Okay, this is a blueprint. We don't want blueprints. Uh, let's go for, no, not particles, nectar maybe. Okay, so in this case, game, core, art, assets, model 3D. Let's go for book. No, let's go for car, car. Let's right click it and select export. Here's the version question. And to find that out, you go to the game folder, you right click on the exe file, go to properties, and you go to details. And then here in file version, you see 4.21 and that's it, 4.21 and okay. All right, now in the folder of UModel, there's a UModel export folder. And in here in game and core in art assets in models 3D, we have the 3D model, which is a PSKX file. We also get the texture. Okay, now let's just extract everything else. Export folder content. Right, I guess we're gonna go with TGA. PNG would be smaller. JPEG would be better because I don't really want the full quality, but let's go with TGA. But let's actually change PSK to GLTF2 here. 
because I think this might be easier to um, import. And now let's press OK. Now we see here a lot of activity. Basically, it lists all the files and well, we're done. Pays to have a high core count CPU, I guess. OK, so what do we have in here? Let's see. U model export, plugins, 2D, paper 2D, content. OK, these are just materials. Then we have one texture here. In runtime, we have Oculus, VR, content, um, some 3D models and textures. Yes, these are definitely textures. Blender probably has support for GLTF, right? Yeah, here. Cool. So if you paste the path of these files in here, let's import a Gear VR controller. Did it? I, I think it worked. Okay, there it is. It did work. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of a method other than manually importing the textures. So this is a uh, the color one. And I guess we're gonna go to shading, weird layout, and we're gonna go for, what was the other thing? Normal map. Let's add normal map, put this on normal, put this on color. Yeah, nice and shiny, really cool actually. Nice. Anyways, that's uh, for a different tutorial. Okay, so we have 3D models and textures covered pretty much. You just have to look through these folders and files uh, to see where your stuff is that you want. Let's look for some sounds. We're just gonna control F dot WAV. Mm -hmm. No WAV files. Let's see for OGG maybe. Yes, there are OGG files. Everything apparently is OGG. This sound. This sound. Okay. Some music. Some more music. Even more music. Even more music. Oh no, the sound and some other sound. All right, so here you have a sound files. Uh, we can just go to right click and open file location to find the actual location. About PSKX and PSK files, I'm gonna make another video. So check that one out. I will put the link into the description. Let me know in the comments if this video helped. Let me know if you still have questions about this and have fun with your Unreal Engine modding. Let me know what kind of stuff you're modding. I'm curious, definitely. Hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao.